I chose the Lincoln Memorial for a specific purpose, <clears throat> and it has to tie in with Lincoln, our country, the Marine Corps, people in general, a lot of different things to kind of tie into this, right? And it's a basis on how I think one of the best ways that we could live our lives. Um, I think a way that people should probably look to do. But looking back at Lincoln, what, what, what he did, what he did for our country, the biggest things that made him a great leader was that, you know, he, he got people together under a common goal to accomplish a common task, which was, you know, there's many different things, but um, to unite our country because we were split at the time, right? And he did this many different ways. You know, he was out um, with his troops. He would do work. He would put in the right effort. He would aim for the bottom line, and he, he brought common goals together. So thinking back, you know, w what other ways have done that? Who else has done that that's built something great, right? And I can say take it all the way back to, like, the Spartans, right? Everyone says the Spartans were the largest military society ever, right? They put themselves under a common goal. They worked hard. They weren't afraid to admit their faults and work on them. And they bonded. They made a bond with their people, right? And that's what made them so phenomenal. You know, they fell apart for other various reasons, but it's still undisputed today on what it is they did, how they made that teamwork together, how they made that bond so strong and unbreakable in their military, uh, in their military uh, about country. Fast forward, you know, other people have done that. You know, <clears throat> the Romans have done that as well. And then all the way up today, you know, modern days, the Marine Corps. So obviously I love the Marine Corps, everything it stands for, but something that, make, that stands out to me about why the Marine Corps really is so strong and how this can apply to other people is just, we have a common goal. You know, every Marine knows that what we're here to do, we're doing it for each other, um, we're doing it for our nation. But the thing is, we're just making some kind of common goal together. We work together. And that's, that's really the essence of leadership. All these great nations had phenomenal leaders. And that, you know, if you're going to try to do anything good in your life, you should just go out there and try to do that. Try to better yourself in leadership every day that you can. You know, because that's what we do on a daily basis. Uh, and I think this is one of the things that can help you become strong. Um, it can help you advance in your life as too, in all honesty, because the better leader you are, you're gonna, you're gonna work hard. You're gonna inspire people to work together as a team. You're gonna care about other people more than yourself. And you're gonna have a goal that is more important than yourself and your people. It's gonna be something that guides everybody together. And that, is like if you really want you know like I say I talk about what do you want to do in your life do you want to make money do you want to have fame do you want to just do good for others whatever it is yeah so I mean if you're thinking about it, go to, you know going to work tomorrow if you're gonna do anything you know uh, try to do something good for somebody else try to lead by example you know it may not be the thing that anybody wants to do but maybe you could be the one that does it um, instead of being the one that's complaining, be the one that's positive and, and, and setting the example, doing that going forward, or uh, put yourself out for your organization a little bit more. It, you know, in you know, when I was younger, I used to think too, oh, man, that's stupid. I'm not going to do that stuff. Like, why would I put myself out there for that shit? That's dumb, right? But when you when I look back at it now, hindsight 2020, those little actions of doing things like that make a huge difference in everyone else's life. They won't they won't even ever probably tell you that it did they won't probably show you that it ever did but you'd be surprised how it inspires them how it impacts other people to have them do more and you know i'm a realist i'm not going to expect that everyone you know around the world's going to go around and like start doing all these great things but why can't you start small do something good you know pay it forward help somebody out look at the p if you have people that work for you why not do something for them over yourself um, why not do something for your organization that maybe gets no reflection upon you whatsoever, but it's just going to better your organization, you know? Be a leader. Do more things for other people because you can inspire change. No matter what you think, whatever level it is, if more people try to inspire change every day, like honestly, things are going to be better. And if you even just want to put it at a selfish standpoint, the better leader you are, the more inspirational you are, the harder you work, you're gonna have a better life, you're gonna feel better, you're gonna make more money, everything in your life's gonna be better if you work on your leadership. So, if you wanna go out there and do some great things, that's a great thing you can start working on. And it's small, start small tomorrow, do some work, because honestly, if you're not gonna work on being a better leader, helping other people and doing good things, like, 
you probably just suck. Plain and simple. We know there's people out there. Don't suck at life. Go help other people out and do something good.